WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very rainy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently, of all the U.S. indices that we track, trading the downside. Dow's off 155 points, about a half a percent. S&P a little over 1 percent or 42 points. NASDAQ 1 and 8 tenths percent, 228 points. The Russell's off 4 tenths. That's 8 points to the downside. Semis are off 1 and a quarter percent. You've got gold trading off 3 bucks. 17.15 is the print there. You've got silver up uh, 21 cents, 18.54. Lights we crude back a buck, 95.70. Natural gas having another stellar day up 30 cents, trading out at 8.87. And the 30-year treasury is up 23 ticks, 142.04 is the print there. Let's go spend a little time, take a look at our cash indice charts out there. Momentarily, we'll have the Dow up on our screen. And it's really all about the oscillator and change line, although I don't know that the Dow will get all the way back there, but it's a possibility. So in the case of the Dow Jones, what we have out here is uh, even though you got a nice dark cloud cover, price never made the A, never made the C to D expansion of its A to B equals C D pattern out here. So we really just have a sideways movement at this stage here, but price could go target the uh, 31364 level. It's oscillator and change line. The S and P 500 similar pattern to the Dow, no confirmed sell the D point pattern or Gartley sell pattern. But price still may pull back in sympathy to what's going on inside the NASDAQ and the Russell, which really isn't doing much, the Russell, that is. But uh, 38.74 would be the level to be watching on the daily time frame for the S&P as a potential support level. Inside the NDX 100, that level, and it does look like it, it will get tagged, that's at the 12.036 area. If 12.036 get tagged, tests and rejected and holds, that could be the signal of the resumption to the upside. In the case of Russell 2000, its price target, now this does have a confirmed sell the D-point pattern. So its price target may be 17.69. The semiconductors, they have a confirmed sell the D-point. They could be pulling back to 27.04. The transport's out there, I don't have much. The NASDAQ Composite, it has a sell the D-point. Uh, what it needs to do is, or what it may do, is pull back and test its oscillator and change line. That's at the 11,513 area. Let's take a quick peek out at the NQ charts because this is really the set of charts to be paying attention to. The NQ uh, price is testing on a daily basis a support level. The only bottoming pattern that we have out here is coming from the 30 minute time frame. The price needs to clear that red oscillator and change line. That's a 12,151 to suggest that there's some legs to this counter trend. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Tom O'Brien will take us on home, and I'll be back with you tomorrow on Wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks.